Another important tool here is a match curve. For example, if you create a curve, and as you can see, we have a brick here, and we want to match the curve to our, their continuity. Select a match curve. The first selection is important. The first curve that you selected will be changed and match to the continue to the other curve. So I want to change this curve first selected, as you can see, then select the other curve. And as you can see, this is previous position of the curve and this is a new position of the curve. The continuity is, pos is position, it means do nothing. The curvature, as you can see, it's aspect the curvature of this curve to the that curve or the tangency or the curvature. You can define it G2, G2, theory. The principle of other end is for other end of the curve. And here's the, uh, I want to, and hit OK. And as you can see, we have a nice continuity curve. Another interesting tool, the tool that is here that is connected to the curve that are separated. It's very interesting. Select it. I want to, for example, change the position of this. This is very different from blend curve because it's, <clears throat> change the uh, shape of the curve. I want to this curve to change to continuity or match this curve. And as you can see, exactly change the curve. You can tangency position or anything that you want. Okay. And uh, you can, for example, join them after connection, as you can see. Another interesting tool is here. If, uh, option of tool. Uh, in this situation, I want to uh, blend them together. So first I select this and then select this. And as you can see, this curve changed to the position of that curve, the tangency or curvature. And here I want to explain the average curves. As you can see, because I select this curve at the first, it changes its position and the curve and goes to the other curve that I selected in a second click but if you click average it does not important which curve do you select it's take the average curvature or tangency of them and join and change the uh, shape of the curve all interesting and the intersection is not important you can select this and this as you can see average no this curve select the position and Curvature done. Another interesting tool, uh, option of this tool is this. If you select it, as you can see, we have a surface here that is in another level and this curve in another level. We're doing in 3D, it's not important. Match curve, select the curve you want to match and here is the nice thing. You can select surface edge. This is a surface and it has an edge, not curve. You have to, after select a curve, going to surface edge. Select the surface edge and here the point. Select the point. I want to exactly align to the depth. If you go into the top, as you can see, you can like this. And it's changed to curvature or tangency if you want. If you go to back to perspective, and as you can see, it's go exactly to the 3D. Remember that you can use it in a lot of projects. Or here in some situation, the another uh, option will be turned on, and here is a perpendicular to the curve, to the surface edge. For example, in this mode, we can change some. I want to match it to this, for example. Select it, then surface edge, sorry. Match this curve, then this surface. Position, tangency. Here you can, oh, sorry. Select it, then you have to select the surface edge, surface edge, and for example, I want to point it here. You can activate the perpendicular. As you can see, it's come perpendicular to the surface and hit OK. 
and everything is in 3D as you can see interesting okay another option of this tool is uh, here if you want to match to this curve select and here you can match to the curve ends automatically match to the end or you can click it here and pick a point for example i want to match this end of the first case to the this point curvature and done okay hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release